Hello everyone and welcome back to the Bookshop Cafe Book Club. My name's Lydia and I'm your host and on today's episode of the September Diaries, as we are approaching the end of the year and the beginning of cosy season, um, I am going to do a September TBR. Um, so I've been in quite a reading slump over the whole of the summer really um, and so I've set myself a fairly big challenge but I think I can do it. Yeah. So I'm going to get straight into it. So first of all we've got Hound of The Hound of the Baskervilles by Arthur Conan Doyle. This is a Sherlock Holmes um, and if you watch um, the Zero More uh, Darling Desi's videos on YouTube you'll have seen this kind of beautiful copy before and I was watching her video and I immediately went out and got a copy because I just thought it's so so beautiful but yes So yes, murder mystery vibes, um, there's essentially a legend of a supernatural hound that is, that is cursing the Baskervilles um, and their estate, so yes, we shall see. Next of all, I thought this was, I'd do this one next because it's in the same kind of cloth cover. Um, and I do already have a copy of, uh, copy of Dracula but I really hate paperback and I just it doesn't make me want to read it at all um so yes yeah, so I got a I got a different one um and so yes Dracula by Bram Stoker um gothic vampires Transylvania perfect next to calm down from the spook and horror <laughs> um I've got Anne of the Island by Ellen Montgomery um so this is the third book in the Anne of Green Gables series following um, Anne Shirley Cosbett. Uh, the beginning of it is set in autumn and then it just follows through the rest of the year, her first year at university. So yes, it's just very quaint, very nice and should be a, a, good, um, a good antidote for Dracula. Next I've got Making the Monster, the science behind Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Um, by Catherine Harcourt um, and I absolutely love Frankenstein it's honestly one of my favourite books I absolutely adore Mary Shelley and, and everything to do with her but um, yes I just thought this would be an interesting background because in my October TBR um, I will be including Frankenstein of course um, and so yes um, just because it's one of the most influential science fiction kind of stories. It's argued that it's one of the first sci-fi novels, but I've been I've been listening on audiobook to Making the Monster um, by, I can't remember her name, but yes, um, original like steampunk sci-fi. It's actually started by Mary Cavendish, Cavendish in the 1600s, so I don't know. It depends how Depends how you define. Next is a non-fiction, absolutely nothing to do with autumn, really. But um, it's working hard, hardly working by Grace Beverly, um, and this is kind of one of those. As much as I love the cozy season. A, a, a lot of seasonal depression does come with it and it's just kind of reminding myself to take to take care of myself and, and, and keep being productive um, and avoiding burnout and, and such and I just love Grace Beverly um, and, and everything she stands for um, I really like the Tala brand and I've tried Shreddy I cannot for the life of me keep on track with one of those things but it was very good for the and then finally, to get back into the gothic mood ready for October, we've got Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Mesmerising feminist reimagining of gothic fantasy in which a young socialite discovers the haunting secrets of a beautiful old mansion in 1950s Mexico. So, it should be very, very good. I wanted to keep this this kind of episode of the September Diaries fairly quick um, not go too far into into each book um, just so the wrap up at the end of the month is actually somewhat interesting 
Um, so yes, I'll see you in my next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.